declaring the three-day peace summit open. The convener and executive secretary, Nigeria Christian Pilgrims Commission, Reverend Yakubu Pam, who is also chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Northern Region said, it has become imperative to initiate a process towards ensuring peaceful coexistence. He explained that his mission is to maximize dialogue as a veritable tool of enhancing participation and cooperation among all stakeholders. This, according to him, is in order to highlight the critical and salient differences that are believed to be root causes of the conflict. Focus should be on the needs and the constraint of all parties. Love is an act of endless forgiveness, a tender look which becomes a habit. The first to apologize is the bravest. Well, the first to forgive is the strongest, and the first to forget is the happiest. Chairman of the summit and former Chief of Defense Staff, General Martin Luther Aguay, observed that the theme should have reflected an end to the conflict rather than a de-escalation. Represented by an elder statesman, Ishaya Dere Akau, General Aguay described the conflict as totally avoidable. And I want to appeal particularly to our governor. Yes, violence in Canada did not start today. Violence started a very long time ago. He's older than some of us. But how does he know that he's not the one that God has decided to come and end this violence? Coach Chairman, Air Vice Marshal Mohammed Dabo recalled with nostalgia how united the people were before the recent SAT development. It is long overdue. We are all losers in this very unfortunate incidences that have been happening over time. I remember very well in my youth at Kachia, we had very nice relationships with our colleagues and the elders, our elders, our parents. With Vision Pioneer, Throne Room Ministries Apostle Emmanuel Kure gave an exhortation to participants. It is a sign of systemic failure that government has failed, that there are no elders in the land. When I say elders, the Fulanis don't have elders. The Hausas don't have elders. The other Kabilu don't have elders. In Contributing, Executive Secretary Ted Fong, Professor Suleiman Bogoro, spoke on his experiences of Rwanda and his hometown, Dafar Balewa. Avoidable conflicts, particularly in northern Nigeria. If our identity differences could not unite us, let poverty unite enough. There were religious reflections by Imam Mohammed Ashafa, co executive director, Interfaith Mediation Center Kaduna, and Reverend Gideon Paramalam of Paramalam Peace Foundation. Goodwill messages came from Abdullah Sili, leader of Abros in Kaduna State and Secretary General Jamaatul Nasrul Islam JNI Ibrahim Kufena. The Peace Summit is expected to run up on Thursday. This is Roland Lums.